I once read a delightful book in the 1920 entitled Fundamentals Prosperity by Roger Babson. He ended his book by asking the President of Argentina Republic why South America, with its natural resources wonders, was so far behind North America in terms of progress and marketing. The President replied, I have come to this conclusion. South America was settled by Spanish who came to South America in search for gold, but the North America was settled by the Pilgrim's Fathers who went there in search of God. Where's their focus? On money or on spirit? on the goals you want or on the spirit that brings them. How to become a millionaire. Years ago, Scrooley Blatnick conducted a study of 1,500 people that were put into two categories. Categories said they would pursue the money from the first from which they really wanted to do that later. Over 1,245 people went into that group. Category B made up of 255 people said that they would seek their interests first and trust the money that would follow it later. And what happened? 20 years later, 101 millionaires from the, the entire group. Only one came from the group A. The remaining 100 millionaires came from group B. The group said that if they were to pursue their passions first, the money would come later. Right there is another clue of how to attract money. Where's your focus? On your money or passion? Welcome to the Attractor Factor. In this book, I offer a new way for you to easily, effortlessly increase your business, find your love, improve your health, attract more money or anything else that you can imagine. It's based on timeless spiritual principles. It will reveal how your inner state of mind attracts and creates your own outer results, from what you do about and what you'd like to have, or from whatever in your heart desires. I call it the attractor factor. It's truly a spiritual formula for success that never fails. Do the techniques work? The proof in this pudding, try them and you'll see. And I'll tell you about the successes that I've had and I do in this book. And nothing is quite the convincing as you using the same simple ideas and seeing your own amazing results. I could tell you about the method and help you manifest anything you want. And you read about people who create cars and homes, heal themselves of cancer, created new relationships and attracted more money. But in focusing on attracting wealth and business because it appears to be a serious lack of spirituality in business, I'm going to let you discover the magic of marketing with spiritual base, nothing with, with the spirit. The magic of marketing with spirit, because nothing will be more powerful than your own first-hand experiences. Pull up a chair, get comfortable, take a deep breath and relax. Let's talk about how you can increase your wealth and achieve anything that you may desire through the magic of power of attractor factor, through the magic power of the attractor factor. It all begins with understanding that your life, spirit, that which is traditionally believed to be a vital principle of animating force within living beings, spiritual of or relating to consisting of or having a nature of spirit non-tangible or material american heritage dictionary boston huffton mifflin 1980 it can be another way before i became a marketing specialist and author was an inner world journalist for over 10 years writing a several leading edge magazines as a result i've seen miracles with my own eyes for example i interviewed mir schneider a man who was diagnosed as blind and he was given certification saying that he was incurably blind and yet today he sees he reads he writes he drives a car and he helps hundreds of people regain their vision as well i spent time with barry and susie kaufman on their option institute and saw and heard miracles there their own child was born autistic from there they told them to give up on him, but they didn't, and they worked with their son and loved him and nurtured him and accepted him and healed him, and today he lives as an above-average, happy, successful adult. I've sat in dozens of workshops where I saw people heal their relationships with lovers, parents, kids. I've interviewed girls and mentors, talked to people who've had their own incurable problems, dissolved, and experienced miracles firsthand by owning life. And with their own life, I've come to believe that nothing, nothing is impossible. The Healer's Healer. For more than 10 years, I've worked with Jonathan Jacobs, a man called the Healer's Healer, because his track record for helping heal people is so stunning that doctors referred his own patients to him. I've seen Jonathan take people on with everything from money problems to the back injuries to cancer and help heal them, often in a single session. I've tasted this myself. For the most of my life, I've struggled with money. But then I lived in Dallas for some 30 years ago, homeless and starving. I shoplifted to eat. And when I moved to Houston 25 years ago, I found a frustrating nightmare. Came up with $200 a month to live in this dump. It was hell. I went through this for almost 15 years years. Then after doing a few sessions with Jonathan, I somehow let go of my old beliefs about money, installing new ones, and now my finances are so amazingly different that I'm often in awe from how so much new cars, new homes, world travel, clients that I can handle in constant stream of cash that keeps me above water all the times. I pay every bill that arrives when it arrives, and I never experience lack. I attract money easily now. What happened? How can mere cure the blind, the Kaufman heal autism? Jonathan help people with any list of problems. How can I have money for a decade and I have next to nothing? It begins with knowing that it can be another way. It can be another way. That's what you want to understand right now. So no matter what's happening in your life right now, no matter what you think is happening, it can be another way.
The direction you appear to be headed can be altered. Nothing is set in concrete. In fact, as you will see, everything in life seems to be plastic. You can mold it to fit whatever you want, wherever you want to go. Even right now, as you read these words, you can begin to play with new possibilities. What do you want to be, do, have, win the lotto? Why not? Increase your business? Why not? Heal something? Why not? Have some money right now? Why not? A friend of mine asked, how do you know what is impossible? I replied, how do you know what isn't? Sure, leave. I believe our planet is one It was described as an original Star Trek television episode called as Shore Leave. When Kirk and his team landed on the planet to check it out before sending the rest of the crew down for some much-needed rest of relaxation, they began to experience odd events. McCoy seemed a huge white sees a huge white rabbit. Sulu sees an ancient samurai who chases him. Kirk sees an older lover and an old rival classmate. After experiencing the joys and sorrows of these events, it finally dawns on me that the crew thinks to Spock, of course, that the planet reads their thoughts and creates what they think about. I think Earth is that planet. What you hold in your mind with the energy and focus will tend to be created in reality. You attract it. It takes a little longer to experience results because you keep on changing your minds. And imagine going to a restaurant ordering chicken soup, but before it arrives, you change your order to wonton soup. And before that arrives, you change your order back to chicken soup. You'll sit there and complain, saying that you never get what you want, when in reality, the reason is, is that the reason you're the reason the soup is late. Most of us do that every single day with our indecisions. It makes attracting from what you want nearly impossible. No wonder you end up with feeling that you can't get what you want, and yet it has to be that way, but it doesn't have to be that way. Consider that Consider what Francis Larimar Warner wrote in our Invisible Supply Part 1, 1907. Spirit is substance which forms itself according to your demands, and it must have a pattern from which to work. A pan of dough is willing to be formed into a bread as a biscuit. It makes as little difference to the spirit what we demand. And that's a foundation to a five-step process I'll describe in this book, knowing that life can be different for you, and that itself can't support you in what you want, in this attractor factor. Here's a clue of how it works, written by Genevieve Berend in 1921's book, Your Invisible Power. Try to remember that the picture you think, feel, and see reflected into your universal mind and by the natural law of recorporal action must return to you in either spiritual or physical form. The activities we observe in our outer world are but typical from which we are taking place in a man's inner world of thought and feeling. Charles Brody Patterson, The Law of Attraction, Mind, Magazine, 1899. A shortcut to attracting whatever you want. Let me tell you a little secret. You don't need to practice five steps in this book to manifest your desires or attract more wealth. Nope. There's an easier way. I'll tell you what it is if you promise not to spread this secret around. Deal? Here's the secret. What I call the shortcut to creating the life that you and the way you want it is to be happy now. Be happy right now. And that's it. If you can be happy right now in this moment, you will have achieved whatever you want. Why? Because underneath everything you say that you want is your desire is happiness. In 1970, Ralph Parlett wrote in his book, The Big Business of Life. Whatever we do, we are doing it to be happy, whether you realize it or not. If you want a new car, so you will be happy. If you want more money, it's so you'll be happy. If you want better health, it's so you'll be happy. If you want a loving or lusty relationship, it's so you'll be happy. Happiness is your goal. Here's another secret. You don't need to have anything else in order to be happy right now. You can choose to be happy right now. I know that's a tough one to grasp, but just today I received a call from a nurse caring for my best friend, and the call is disturbing to say at least. I was told my best friend may need a drug rehab, and the news of causing me to go into a tailspin right into unhappiness. A few hours later, I went out to an acupuncture appointment. As I drove through the Texas County Hills in a beautiful area from which I now live, I realized that I could be happy anyway. My unhappiness wasn't going to help me or my friend or my driving. I could choose to be happy. Does this sound like a wild thought? We are taught outer circumstances dictate on how we feel, but what it is is I've learned that it's the outer is simply the illusion. Oh, it seems real enough, I agree. From which we created the outer is your inner, and that's what the attractive factor comes into play. As Paul's, Paul Ellsworth wrote in 1924 classic book, The Mind Magnet, Consciousness is Cause. Let me explain this further. If you don't pay more now for a pair of shoes than you used to spend on a car, your prosperity consciousness needs work. Randy Gage, 101 Keys to Your Prosperity, www.myprosperitysecrets.com An introduction to the attractor factor. A friend and I were having lunch in my hometown, Niles, Ohio, one day, and I was there visiting my parents, and my friend wanted to know the key secret to manifesting your own reality and attracting more wealth, and I thought for a moment and then said, the hardest concept for most people is to grasp that if they that they are their only sole reason that they're experiencing whatever it is that they have in their lives. And there are they are totally responsible. 
I could see my friend's head rear back. Well, how is that possible? He almost shouted. It's not responsible. my responsibility if I got into a car accident or I might get into one or if I might get into one or losing my job or anything else that life deals my way. I took a deep breath. This wasn't going to be easy to explain, but I wanted to give it my best shot. Spirituality is all about taking full responsibility for whatever occurs in your life, I said. Good or bad, it all has to come to you from you. Joseph Murray used to say in your life that an outpicturing of your inner pictures. You say your life is an outpicturing of your inner pictures. I don't sit around picturing car accidents, my friend blurted out. Maybe not consciously, I said, but do you watch on the news? Yes. Well, whatever you say, the news is all about negative stuff from accidents to murders to crises in the country we never hear or heard of. Yes, but your mind is soaking up all the programming I explained, and you've ever noticed how movies plant ideas in your mind? What kind of ideas? Well, ever notice how big businesses is always the bad guy? You mean like in the movies like Wall Street? Yes, those movies teach us that money is bad and that it corrupts and that wealthy people are bad. And I went on. The point is, is that all the programming your mind has to attract the very things that you prefer not to experience. My friend was quite. My friend was quiet a minute, and I think, I think what you're saying he began is what we are all robots, or maybe machines. I gotta admit, that's a pretty accurate explanation until we wake up. We attract things into our life unconsciously, and then we declare that we didn't do it. I don't know about this, my friend mumbled. I don't know. That means I chose to be an AA to make mess of my life. Well, it does not mean that, I said. And you did it for your own reasons. Maybe you wanted to challenge to make yourself stronger. Maybe you wanted to experience to help and understand life in certain ways. I don't know. You know, though. Somewhere in, wherever, somewhere inside of you, you know. But what about all the people who've come into my life and they argue with me or make our lives miserable? My views is everything else is in your life is an outpicturing of what is going on in the inside. Huh? Well, I smiled, but I knew that this was not going to, easy, to be an easy concept to explain. I often have had to reread my own books or much of the success literature out there to grasp the concept of unconscious manifestation or blind attraction. Look, I began. I know a woman who has feminist sensibilities because she thinks that men are out to rip her off, and you could send her to a store by herself, and if a man waits on her, she'll experience him being a chauvinist pig. Maybe the guy is a pig. He probably is a send of women without belief that men are out to get her in the same store, and she'll either not get waiting on a guy, but she won't notice personality. She won't notice his personality either. Or will she simply not experience that what he might have otherwise done? So what you're saying is that we're creating it all, all of it. It's like this, I began, the very conservation of the co-creation. We wanted to hear someone explain the secrets of the universe. I wanted to articulate these secrets of my new book, We Co-Created This. My friend nodded but said, I could see what you mean on something simple like this, but what if we were angry in a situation and we were fighting, we were fighting over these days? What could I say? I knew what he was asking. The probability are asking the same thing. And what does it mean when people confront you or you have to fight with your relative or spouse or neighbor? You created that too? Well, you created all of it, I explained. What you see out of picturing and out picturing is what you believe inside of yourself, and I call it the attractor factor. I don't get it. Well, this very conversation has reflected what I think about the spiritual approach to success. You created me. I created this moment in our conversation, I said. I needed it for my new book. I, my new book. I attracted you here so that we could create this reality. Glad I could be of service to you, he grumbled. Well, what about that? I disagree with you. You created that too? That's a tough one to accept, but it is true. Your disbelief reflects areas from which, where I don't believe with everything, you don't believe with everything of what I'm saying. This sounds pretty strange, Joe, he said. Is this, if this is true, then once you are clear, and what, then once you are clear about what you believe, then my own doubts will vanish. Either that, or you simply won't air them to me. I got to think about all this, he said. This is the attractor factor, I explained. It means that you are the source of all your experiences that you see. You co-create them and you have experiences from your own reasons. The world is a mirror of you. Seems like a great, prettier world when you can now. Well, you can now, I said. Now that you are becoming aware of your own inner power, you can begin consciously creating circumstances that you may not do overnight or master in this lifetime. But you can begin now. How? All the question I have has been waiting for. It all begins with the five-step formula I've developed, and I explained it's pretty easy. And if you can shorten the steps, then once you master them, the five steps are where it all begins. you got to tell me that the five steps, or I do have to buy your book. you going to tell me the five steps, or do I have to buy your book? Well, I'm going to tell you the steps right now, I replied, and then you can go buy my book. The mind operates under its own conception of itself, a.k.a. Mozumdar. What's your prosperity IQ? Before you dive into the next chapters, pause a moment and take a quick quiz on your prosperity expertise. Randy Gage to see how you can be infected with the lack and limitation programming. This can reflect where your current attractor factor is at work and you might want to make copies of this quiz so you can share them with your friends and loved ones.